So I'm here with Owen Wild. He's a, a member of the Gig Harbor baseball team. He's going to be going to Gonzaga uh, next year. So first question I have for you, Owen, you, know, you committed to Gonzaga. What about that school really kind of uh, pulled you to go that direction? I uh, kind of just felt like home. Um, once I got there, I mean, um, really felt a connection with all the staff and um, the campus felt, felt like home. I mean, um, everything about there is pretty nice and kind of just felt like the place I wanted to go. Yeah, it's definitely a beautiful area, Spokane. That that whole area just uh it's a place you really you know, it's a little cold during the winter, but once it starts warming up it's pretty beautiful and pretty nice over there. Mm, yeah, um they have a their their arm program, they have to do a lot of stuff indoors. Um they, they said there's they the league that they play in, they play with a lot of California schools. Mm-hmm. So something they do is they pride themselves on being able to be that, that cold weather school. They come come like April or whatever, they get their games going and it's like sixty degrees and all the cow guys are putting on sweatshirts and stuff and they're out there just throwing heat definitely gives them a home field advantage at that yeah. point you know so here you are going into your senior year you know what things are you hoping to work on and kind of improve upon as you get ready to go to college next year uh, the biggest thing I want to do is just increase my velocity even more I mean since last year I've gone up probably like four or five miles an hour trying to get even higher and get up to that sitting 90 kind of velocity because that'll help me go through senior year mm-hmm. especially for high school we're trying to win the whole thing so coming for it so is, is what are your goals do you have for your high school team both personally and as a team um well personally i want to try to um break the era record because i got the, i got the strikeout record and the innings pitched or whatever this year so mm-hmm. i'm trying to go for all of them and then as a team we're trying to trying to win it all in pasco i mean we got third this year lost to lake washington won the whole thing we're coming back we got a lot of guys back we're trying to win the whole thing it's always nice when you have returning players who have been there and kind of done that you know a lot of players, as they're growing up, they'll look at major league players and kind of, you know, take different uh, styles or mentalities. Is there a major league player that you've looked at and said, you know what, I love how they play and I want to approach the game the same way? Um, back in, uh, I mean, even now, still Verlander. Mm-hmm. I looked at him and he's throwing a hundred. He's like fifty years older than he's not, but <laughs> he's out there. He's pumping a hundred in the seventh inning. That's always something I try to pride myself on. Is once you get down in like the fifth, sixth inning, you start your arms getting a little tired. You're trying to still throw as hard as you had been in the first inning, and that's something he mixes it up pretty well too. Mm-hmm. And then he just throws gas. So I'm trying to get up to there. That'd be pretty cool. And then you know, for players who are you know playing at high school and going on to college. It's not by accident. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time, but it also takes people pushing you and encouraging you. Who in your life has been that encouragement and that motivator to get you where you're at? Well, a couple people, actually. So um, my club head coach, John Fuller, with Narrows Baseball. Um, my pitching coach, that was on my 18U team, Scott Schultz. He actually pitched at Oregon State. I don't know if you know him, but um, he pitched at Oregon State and pitched in pro ball a little bit. And then um, the biggest name is probably Anton Saltvik. I don't know if you know him, but he pitched. He, he did. He ran lessons when I was younger, mm-hmm. and I uh, I got cut from my the Narrows program. Like I tried out for the 13U team, and I didn't make it. Right. So then I took lessons with that guy, Anton Salt, and uh, he got my velocity up like almost 10 because my mechanics were all messed up. And yeah. he cleared them all up, and I just started throwing gas. And he's probably the biggest reason is why I'm here, where I'm at. It's awesome to have those people that are there to really not just encourage you, but to get those technique and, and get those things down you need to. Last question I have for you, you know, playing baseball, you always see kids around the ballpark and, and wanting to play at a higher level. What advice do you have for kids who are hoping to someday play, you know, at the college level? I think the biggest thing would just be to keep your head down and keep grinding because it's definitely a grind. All college baseball recruiting and stuff, there's going to be guys that have an older brother or a dad or something or just st- they're just gifted and throw 100 miles an hour when they're 12 right like so if you're you're, not everyone's going to be that way Um, I wasn't that way and then you just got to keep grinding working for it and then eventually something will you'll you'll come to you you can go the juco route if you need but a lot of guys there there's going to be other guys that are going to get committed before you Mm -hmm. so if you just keep your head down and keep working you'll get someone will find you it's their job to find the talent so if you work hard enough you'll get get looked at awesome well thank you very much